and I like nearly fainted. <laughs> like well, we both, I think, like started crying. We went to the Society of American Travel Writers Convention, and one day at lunch they had like an awards reception, and Travel Blog Award actually came up first. And then um, they announced Skeleton and said curfew with Corey Lee, and I was just like. It was just something that I never ever expected to happen um, after only like four years of blogging. I started the blog back in 2013 in December. We were researching that trip to Australia and I started noticing there really wasn't like a lot of information about accessibility within Australia online. And so because of that, I thought maybe I could create a resource online to kind of hopefully show other wheelchair users in the future that you know, what exactly is accessible in Australia or Israel or wherever they may go. I've always had a quickie and we've been traveling for as long as, I mean, forever. And without it, I mean, I literally would not be able to travel. So, no. I mean, the wheelchair has fully enabled me to travel and see all these amazing places. And without it, I mean, there would be no curb free with Corey Lee. No. Quickies, they have a really good battery life. And yeah. Luckily, I mean, that helps. And the elevation of it is what's amazing. Like when you get up to a, a wall to overlook a city or something yeah. on some of those trips without the elevation, yeah. I would have had to physically pick you up just to hold you up to look over the wall. Keeping up with tour groups and foreign countries, and even here in the U.S. when we're on a tour, I mean, I can go as just the group goes. My goal is to hit 30 countries by 30 and all seven continents. So I have a little less than two years to do that, but I think we can do it. <laughs>